congratulations on the film. Thanks, Richard. I appreciate it. So you have said that years ago when you first broke in Hollywood that Hercules was one of the projects that you were interested in, or the character of Hercules anyway. What was it? Is it the, the physicality? Is it the, the personality? Is it the legend? What is it about the character that has, I mean, this has been a while now that this has been percolated that's kept you at it? Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's all those things. Uh, when I was a kid, I just remember visually being captivated by the Steve Reeves poster of him and he's breaking free from yeah, the yeah. pillars and the chains. And um, I didn't know the mythology back then, but I knew the image. Like, that image captivated mm -hmm. me. Um, and I was always drawn to, when I was a kid, uh, men who were able to accomplish things, whether big things or little things, but men who took care of business, mm -hmm. uh, physically. Yeah, yeah. Um, and years later, when I got to Hollywood, I spoke to Hollywood executives back then. I bought up Hercules. Um, didn't have the clout to make anything happen back then. Have a little bit these days, so I was able to make it happen. Um, and um, and also, what has kept me um, um, what's kept me uh, really attracted to it was uh, creating something special. Right. To, and also, the challenge of the, there's been so many iterations of Hercules over the years um, was to create something different, hopefully epic, epic, hopefully um, uh, uh, redefining for our generation. Well, this one sounds a little different, and mm -hmm. I want to see if I might, uh, I'm going to stretch this just a little bit, yeah. and, and tell me if I, if, I, if I go outside the line here, but in this, uh, Hercules has said, you know what, I'm going to just reinvent myself, I'm going to reinvent, I'm going to get rid of the, the myths that everyone seems to, to think about me, and right. just be a man, and I wonder, um, because you've been famous for so long now, if it's kind of a, a survival mechanism when you are that well-known, we could say that Hercules was that well-known as well, to sort of not buy into the myth, not buy into the hype that goes around it, is that a way to keep yourself grounded. level and grounded? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> it's a great question. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, for... Um, in this case, for Hercules, he is—he does not buy into the hype. Doesn't right. buy into. He's well aware. He's very self-aware of who he is, but he doesn't buy into it. If he could utilize it for uh, <laughs> for something that he wants, okay, he does. Um, but uh, but what's interesting, I think, for me over the years, I, I've enjoyed a good amount of success. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful for everything that I have. Um, it sounds like I'm cheese right now, but but like Hercules, um, <clears throat> not buying into the myth, not buying into yeah. the story, but just being being aware of it and being very grateful for who I am, and just always being and making sure that I just continue to uh, approach every project or everything that I do as if it's going to be my last. Because there was a time where. You know where I where there was a time where I was in Canada, by the way, and I was yep. playing for the CFL. Where I was sleeping on a mattress that I got from the garbage of a sex motel. I'll never forget it. It's true, <laughs> true story. So, it, for me, those those times are kind of in the forefront of my mind. You have to. Yeah, I guess that's what grants you, right? Just it, always thinking back that you know when it, twenty. You know, 25 years ago, mm -hmm. you were sleeping on an old, dirty sex mattress, right? Is that I, is that? I was sure, yeah. I was. So the wolf is always like scratching at the door, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. always good to to remember that. That's important. Thank you so much. Oh, that was fun. Thank Too you. quick.